Hey, I'm Josie, and welcome to the unboxing of my custom 12 color watercolor set. The watercolor set comes in this little black tin with two mixing trays, and it's a great little travel set that you can pop in your purse or whatever. When you get the watercolor set, the colors come wrapped in cellophane, so you'll need to unwrap them. And each of the colors have like a little number on the side, which will correspond to the swatch card that you'll get with your set. And so if they get out of order, it's okay, because you'll be able to figure it out based on the number on the side. A super helpful thing to do when you first are opening up your travel set is the painted enamel tin is real slippery and actually it can make it harder to mix colors because it just kind of beads up and it's hard to see what's going on. So I find that if you scuff it up with a little sandpaper, it creates something that the paint can kind of grip to and it's just a lot easier to mix. I'm using a 100 or 120 grit sandpaper here, but I think almost anything would work. You could even do it with a bit of steel wool or even one of those magic eraser sponges that could also do the trick. Now there's a little removable insert and it has these little flexible metal tabs that you can kind of bend back and forth. And the purposes of, of those tabs is basically to hold your paint cartridges, your half pans in place. So to get them to hold well, you just need to bend them over pretty far and then just snap your half pan right into place so it doesn't slide around when you're trying to paint. You can see there, there's my number on the side. Those numbers will correspond with the swatch card so you always know what colors you're dealing with. When you're done putting your cartridges back, you will notice there's also some little tabs on the outsides and you wanna pull those out so then they create a little tension when you snap the whole cartridge back into your travel kit. Now we get to the good stuff. You get to swatch out your new colors. So you'll need some clear water and a paintbrush and the swatch card. You can also just do this on watercolor paper. You don't need to have the swatch card, obviously. And I'm using, I think, a number two or a number four brush there. And you will want to use quite a lot of water. It's sometimes surprising how much water you need with watercolors, especially watercolors that are as concentrated as this set. The colors are incredibly saturated and vibrant. You'll see me adding, you know, like a dipping into the water and adding more water to the colors just to dilute it a little bit. Because otherwise, if it's like too sticky or kind of dry, then it will just be kind of matte and it won't have the luminosity that you're looking for. Another thing that you'll see me doing as I'm swatching out these colors is doing what I call good brush discipline, which means in between colors, I'm thoroughly rinsing my brush. And the reason why you wanna do that, of course, is because these colors are so concentrated. If you have a dirty brush and you go from orange to blue or, you know, blue to yellow, then what'll happen is your yellow pan will be contaminated and you'll never be able to get the blue out. I mean, you can get the blue out, but you might have to rinse it underwater, you know, just to get the contamination out of it. So give that brush a good swish in between colors to clean it up. And you'll also notice my paint water is turning a color there, but it takes quite a while before the color of the paint water is gonna affect my painting. So I don't swap out my paint water all that often until I start to notice that it's, you know, contaminating my clean colors. Something else you probably noticed here is that when I'm in the blue and purple range of my colors, they all pretty much all look the same when they're in the pan state. And as I'm swatching them out, you can see that the colors are actually quite different. And that's that. the reason for that is that with the higher end watercolors, they don't add as many fillers. So sometimes with the cheaper colors, they add a bunch of like white or chalky fillers so that you can actually see what the color is when they're in the pan. But then of course you have white and chalky fillers in your paint, which I don't prefer. I like a nice transparent color. So 
Uh, the drawback is you can't see what the color is inside your case. So it's nice to kind of leave them in the same order because then you'll kind of remember what color is what color. Okay, thanks for watching this watercolor set unboxing. The best thing you can do now is get a couple blank sheets of paper and just play.